Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button as we talk about the Arizona real estate market. The CPI numbers came in at 8.3%. That is a huge hammer on the real estate market. Unexpected. I thought inflation was going to be coming in pretty hot, but it did not come in where the bond market thought it would. And you can see here, there's your title. I'm trying to move me. There we go. Bonds reeling after an inflation shocker. They're saying we knew there was a lot riding on today's CPI and data, CPI data, and that was highly likely to inspire a big move or lower for bonds if it came in much lower than expected. In today's unfortunate case, core CPI surged to 0.6% versus forecast, calling for 0.3 and a previous reading of 0.3. This is the sort of surge a very economist, very few economists predicted. Obviously, the medium was 0 0.3 after all. So they were expecting this, and they got this. So the market is reacting and reacting wildly. We're back up to 6.25% on a national average with mortgage rates, and that's going to clamp things down. So now you're waiting for foreclosures. Here they come. Not exactly. But I'm going to tell you where there's some opportunities here. You can watch it closely. When we talk about foreclosures, foreclosures are homes that people had to get rid of for whatever reason. Couldn't afford the payment. They lost their job. They had an adjustable rate mortgage. The rate went up too high. They, they had to let them go. So they let them go to the bank. Well, the bank, when they have a lot of foreclosures, they have to sell those properties. They're not going to convert them to a rental. They're not going to hang on to them and say, well, let's just hold it for a year because they're already losing on average about $65,000 per home. So they're not going to do that. So what happens when you have a lot of foreclosures? They keep lowering the price until they move. And what we see today going on is, again, move, Rick. Um, no foreclosures down here in the basement. Very bottom. Nothing's going on there. Where, alas, is this opportunity that we see? Well, first of all, if you just look at, I'm going to jump in and show you what our average sales are right now. We're, we're at $284 a square foot, just above that. We had a little mini boom go on here in the first quarter. And we're adjusting, coming back down. We're down about, according to this, about 2% below where it stood in mid-March. But here's what happened. Investors and iBuyers, open door especially, I'm going to speak specifically about open door, purchased here. And they purchased way above market value. And now they're having to lower the prices. And it's having an impact on the market. How many open door homes are out there? Are you ready for this? 1,600. Look at those green dots. That's just open door. Why am I comparing those to foreclosures? Because they have to sell them. Open door has to move these homes. They're not going to convert them to rentals unless they decide to change their business model and say, well, we're going to be a uh, property management company now. We have all these assets. Let's do that. You never know. But their business model is to sell these, and they're selling them at a huge loss. And because they have so many, so many, and because now we just had this huge hammer come down called an interest rate hike, they're going to keep discounting until they move these things. And you may find some real bargains out there. And it's also going to affect the value of the homes in your neighborhood because they're running about 10% of our total inventory right now. Slightly less. They're at 1,600 homes. Our total inventory is about 19,000. But that's a pretty big number and enough to affect the value of your home if you got a couple of them in the neighborhood that are discounting their price. And so investors, flippers, they have to sell their homes too. A lot of them borrow with hard money and the interest rate is higher. So they've got a lot of carrying costs. So the homes that they bought during the run up that they have to move, um, they're going to start deep discounting to get rid of them. Some of them are going to lose a ton of money. Um, Airbnb people are starting to feel it right now, buying Airbnbs and they're not getting the bookings they were expecting and they're starting to sell those. But the average single family homeowner is staying put. Just like I'm not playing in the sandbox. I've got a great interest rate, still have my job. Nationally, this is what's going on. People are just staying put. Not just Phoenix, 
but new listings every week are not increasing. Active listings are because sales are so bleak. They're so low. And with this big hammer of the CPI, they're going to get even lower, which means you're going to start seeing more discounts from the iBuyers. Many of the investors may choose to go ahead and turn these into rentals, but they're not seeing good news in the rental market because they're not the only one converting their homes to rentals. And that market is starting to see a little more inventory than usual. I think we're about 48% on the MLS. Now, I haven't seen rental prices come screaming down yet. And it seems kind of odd that with home sales being as bad as they are, that rentals wouldn't start increasing. But you've got this pool of homes out there that investors bought that they were going to flip. Now they can't. They're converting them to rentals and it's adding to the inventory. Good for you, the consumer. And I know a lot of people are cheering. I hope they all go broke. There's going to be some opportunities out there. I can't even begin to think of what open doors business model is and what they're doing and why for the life of me they're still buying homes i don't get it i don't work there i mean if i was a uh, part of the investor pool um in that group i'd be running for the hills it just doesn't make any mathematical sense to me but i've been wrong before so let's continue to watch these numbers with these i buyers and see just how low they're going to go they tend to reset them all at the same time so if they go down fifty thousand dollars they don't just do it with one they do it in blocks of homes so i continue to look at that every day and see if anything pops out at me and right now we're starting to see some bargains so hope that helps and i hope you have a terrific rest of the day